if you go and sign into Google, so you can see I've signed in here, and then go to Google Documents, uh, you've got your documents in here, and then you've got this Create New button over here on the left. And one of the things you can create is a form. And this is really great if you just need to gather data from a lot of people really quickly. So let me show you what I mean by that. So one of the things I created here is I uh, have a RSVP list, and so people need to sign up for an event. And I created a form to keep track of the people who have signed up. So uh, this is what the form looks like. I could click Form there when I'm in the spreadsheet view, and I could choose Edit Form. And this is where I would edit the form. If I want to see what the form looks like down here at the bottom, you can view the published form from here. If I click on that, it will now show me what the form looks like. And so here somebody could enter their name. And I'll just put Jolene. And I guess, there we go. And uh, then I hit Submit. And uh, then I can just close that. And then when I look, here that data has been entered into the spreadsheet. So it's keeping track of the RSVPs for me. And, um, and then if I want to, I could delete that. So another example of it is I needed to find out the availability of a bunch of different people. And so I sent them out. I created this form here where um, people enter their name and whether or not they want to teach for us an as an adjunct instructor in the fall. And then they also have the dates. You know, They can tell me what times they're not available to teach. So when I schedule them, I'm not going to schedule them you know, during any times they're not available. And so this is a real quick way for me to send this link to about 30 people. And then they can go in and give me the information. And then all that information gets put in the spreadsheet. So their names are here. And they tell me you know, what days they're available to teach and that they want to teach in the fall. And then they leave me some notes if they have any notes. So real quickly here, I've got you know, 25 records for all these people I need to communicate with and figure this out. It's just a much easier way to go into that edit form thing, which is right here. I'm just copy this link here. And then I can paste that in an email. And when people click on that link, it'll take them to the form. They enter the data. And then that data shows up here. And then once that data is in the spreadsheet, you can do all the things that you want to do with it in a spreadsheet. You can do that right here in Google Docs. Or you could even take this and export it. File, uh, export, there's import, uh, save and close, download as Excel. You could download as Excel and then open it in Excel and just work in it from there. So that's uh, Google Forms. There's a lot of different ways to use it. The way you get started to create a new form is you go to Create New once you're in Google Docs and choose Form. And then you could start, like, I want to add an item, I want to add check boxes. And, uh, you know, and then so well, let's say I get rid of this item, get rid of this item. I like to just get rid of the items until, you know, so I'd say this form is, you know, uh, surf trip. Let me know if you can come on the surf trip. I guess that'll be it. Uh, come on surf trip. Please answer yes or no. Question type text. I'm going to go check box. Option one, yes. Option two, no. None. And make this required question. Done. And then one thing I forgot when I created my first form was to add a text box. Let me know. And I'll just put first name. Please enter your first name. And that'll be a text box. Make it required. Done. And I could drag this up. Right? And then add one more item, a text box. Last name. Please enter your last name. And make it a required question. Done. And drag this one up, put it after that one. Can you come on the surf trip? Yes or no? You know, I might also put in we are going Friday at 8 a.m. I'm going to put in the dates. And I save this. And I could click this link here to see it. And here it is. So I could copy that link now, and I could try this. So Jolene is going to come on the surf trip, or she's going to let me know if she's coming. No. <laughs> she's got work to do. And, uh, and then when I go and I look at that, all items, so I'm loading. It says it's loading. Owned by me. All items, there it is. And when I look at that, I've got Jolene's answers.
And so as I, what I would do then is I'd create an email and go to Gmail. And I would send this out to Surf Club, whatever my mailing list was, all the people. So maybe I'd send it to all the people in my department that I work with. And then I'd say, Surf Trip, let me know if you can come on the Surf Trip by RSVP using this link. Boom. And then, always a good idea just to take this, copy it, open a new tab, paste it into the URL window, make sure, okay, I got the right URL in there, it's working, and then you hit send. I'm not going to send it because this is a bogus example, and all those people will be like, what are you talking about? All right, I hope that uh, was useful. I hope that you find Google Forms useful and that you could put it into uh, some sort of application that helps you streamline your life and make it a little bit more efficient. Thanks for watching.